sounding. Oh, I thought she was the lady.
Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to St. Gertrude. I'd also like to welcome our live stream audience this morning and uh, just announce that we have permission to live stream the musical selections today under license A 728 690. Today we celebrate the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please rise and join us as we sing our opening hymn, Come Worship the Lord, number 304 in Breaking Bread. Come Worship the Lord. that he shepherds. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us come with thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come and worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock that he shepherds. Hallelujah. Good morning. morning. We begin this celebration as we begin all good things. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And may the grace and peace of the Lord be with all of you. God gathers us here with Christ, our shepherd to give us courage and to spread the Eucharist, excuse me, the Eucharistic banquet before us to give us hope. Lord Jesus, you are at our side. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are our peace. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the teacher and guide. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity they may be ever watchful in keeping your command. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Woe to the shepherds who mislead and scatter the flock of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, against the shepherds who shepherd my people, you have scattered my sheep and driven them away. You have not cared for them. But I will take care to punish your evil deeds. I myself will gather the remnant of my flock from all the lands to which I have driven them and bring them back to their meadow 
There they shall increase and multiply. I will appoint shepherds for them who will shepherd them so that they need no longer fear and tremble. And none shall be missing, says the Lord. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous shoot to David. As king, he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah shall be saved. Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name they give him. The Lord our justice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm response today is Psalm 23, Shepherd Me, O God, can be found at number 458 in Breaking Bread. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears from death into life. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears from death into life. God is my shepherd, so nothing shall I want. I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love. I walk by the quiet waters of peace. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Gently you raise me and heal my weary soul. You lead me by pathways of righteousness and truth. My spirit shall sing the music of your name. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. You have set me a banquet of love, in the face of hatred, crowning me with love beyond my power to hold. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into Life. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have become near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, he who made both one 
and broke down the dividing wall of enmity through his flesh, abolishing the law with its commandments and legal claims, that he might create in himself one new person in place of the two, thus establishing peace, and might reconcile both with God in one body through the cross, putting that enmity to death by it. He came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, we both have access in one spirit to the Father. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Life itself is stressful. We have stress every part of our lives. We have stress at home. We have stress at work. We even have stress in our leisure. There's no way of escaping stress. More people take off days from work than any other illness because of stress. And think about all the people who have died because of stress or related it health issues in their lives. Yes, stress is a part of our lives. There's no way of escaping it. You know, some people say, you know what, if you have faith, you have no stress. That's not true. That's not true. Everyone, even God-believing people, have stress. And here's a perfect example in our gospel today. Let's take a look at it. The apostles. Now, 
They're so excited. They're telling Jesus, oh, guess what? We're doing this, and we're doing this, and we're doing this in your name. Oh, it's so wonderful, but you know what? We're really tired. Jesus doesn't say, stress be gone. He doesn't say that to the apostles. What does he say to them? Come away with me. Come away with me to a deserted place and rest. Some stress and anxiety is good in our lives because it shows that we care. It shows that we don't want to do a sloppy job. It shows that we want to be at our best. But you know what? Being at our best, it gets pretty tiring at times. And what happens often when we get so overloaded with stress and things in our lives that we forget what it means to be at rest with God. You know, it's funny because if you think of all of the technology that we have, it's ironic because all the technology that we've gotten for the last 50 or 60 years, it's all supposed to reduce our stress. The washing machine, you know, the, the remote, the cell phone, laptops, all these things were supposed to have reduced all the stress. But I don't know about you, but all those things have added more stress in my life. If I can get more than an email out of my computer, I'm feeling great. I can't tell you how many times I have to say to people, I don't know what I have to do. You just tell me what to do. And sometimes my six and seven-year-old nieces and nephews will say, here, there. <laughs> Dress. Stress. Our gospel says, come away with me. Doesn't say stress be gone. Come away with me and know what it's like to have your shepherd. Because when we get that image of a shepherd, what does a shepherd do? The shepherd is one there who just there to embrace us. The one there just to hold us. The one there just to support us and give us encouragement. And to give us that rest that we need so we can build up ourselves to go back out into that stressful world. Today's gospel is calling you and us, myself, invites us. Come on, let the shepherd take over. You don't have to be in control. Let the shepherd take you into his arm. Let the shepherd make you rest and sleep in his arm. Let the shepherd refresh you and replenish you so that you can go out in God's name and give peace and love and forgiveness that this world is in so much great of. Just think if we all tried to do that and fulfill that, just a little bit more love in this world, a little bit more peace, how much more stress there would be off of this world. Come away with me. The Good Shepherd calls. Please stand, and together let us profess our faith in the God in whom we love. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son, God and Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and I see at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. 
and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. God's loving kindness gives us confidence to offer our prayers for all of our sisters and our brothers. That those who shepherds God's people always serve with compassion, faithfully proclaiming the love and peace of Christ Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That national leaders strive to break down the dividing walls of hostility between people, pursuing justice and peace for the good of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all Christians extend the compassion of the Good Shepherd to the hungry, the unemployed, the lonely, the homeless, and the desperate. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Pope Francis and all those who and all those recovering from surgery or illness be strengthened by the healing power of God's grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the parishioners of St. Ignatius feel the open arms of welcome found at St. Jerome and St. Gertrude parishes as we join to renew the mission of the church in the Rogers Park and Edgewater communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we build communities safe for children and families where care and support are extended to those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died <clears throat> and for the intention of this Mass, Quinn bring us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Generous God, you give blessings without number and, and continually call us to share our gifts. Hear our prayers and sustain us until you call us home. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 547 in Breaking Bread. Sacred Silence, number 547. Sacred Silence, Holy Ocean, Gentle water washing over me. Help me listen, Holy Spirit, come and speak to me. God my Father, Christ my brother, Holy Spirit, sanctifying me. Lord, I'm sorry, please forgive me, come and set me free. Sacred silence, holy ocean, gentle water washing over me me listen, Holy Spirit, come and speak to me, come and be with me, come and speak Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord set the sacrifice in your hand for the praise and glory of God's name. Our Lord.
O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied, varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that, each, that what each has to offer in honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possesses the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruit of the Spirit, to whom you raised Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the pastoral mysteries. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, with all the religious, the clergy, and your entire people. Remember also our sisters and our brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Ignatius, St. Jerome, St. Gertrude, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life, may praise and glorify you your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen.
Together we pray in the words that our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of your now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with all of you. Let's share a sign of peace with one another. Peace with you. A new stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. A new stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. A new stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the words and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is number 168 in Breaking Bread, Christ the Good Shepherd, number 168. Christ the Good Shepherd, shepherd your people into the ways of your righteousness. Feeding the hungry, welcoming strangers, the least among us, your presence, Lord. As we partake of this bread of life, as we receive this cup, make your church a sacrament of your love. Christ the Good Shepherd, shepherd your people into the ways of your righteousness, feeding the hungry, 
welcoming strangers, Lord, least among us your presence, Lord. Shepherd who seeks out the least and lost, mercy embracing all. May our lives reflect the kindness of God. Christ the Good Shepherd, shepherd your people into the ways of your righteousness, feeding the hungry, welcoming strangers, the least among us, your presence, Lord. In a world wounded by war and hate, you give this healing a feast. Make us, Lord, an instrument of your peace. Christ the Good Shepherd, shepherd your people into the ways of your righteousness, feeding the hungry, welcoming strangers, the least among us your presence, Lord. Conquer our hearts with your call, O Lord, that we may hear and heed. Feed my lambs, tend my sheep, follow me. Christ the Good Shepherd, shepherd your people, into the ways of your righteousness, feeding the hungry, welcoming strangers, the least among us, your presence, Lord. Good morning. Today's announcements. Please stop by one of the tables at the church exits to sign up as a volunteer for the Welcome Back Sunday Pancake Breakfast on September 12th. We need all hands on deck. We need planners, set up and take down volunteers, and some volunteers to help organize kids' games. Mary Claire is on a well-deserved vacation this week. We want to thank Michael Rosicki for filling in for masses this weekend. There are hard copies of Cardinal Supich's letter on the violence in the city at the tables at the exits of church. The letter was also published in this week's uh, newsletter bulletin. Please take a copy and read this important letter. Thank you. We'd just like to add one more part of the announcement. As you may have no noticed, we have a server today. His name is Francisco Placido Cruz. He is part of the Capuchin community, and he's on his way to Montana for his novitiate. He's part of the former parish of Holy Family in St. Francis of Assisi on Roosevelt Road. So he's here with us for a few days, so just want to welcome him. <laughs> Together, let us pray. <clears throat> Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have imbued with the heavenly mysteries 
to pass from former ways to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go and bring Christ's peace to this world. Thanks be to God. And please join us in our recessional hymn number 420, Sing a New Church, 420. Summoned by the God who made us rich in our diversity, gathered in the name of Jesus, richer still in unity. Let us bring the gifts that differ, and in splendid, varied ways, sing a new church into being, one in faith and love and praise. Radiant risen from the water, robed in holiness and light, male and female in God's image, male and female God's delight. Let us bring the gifts that differ, and in many splendid ways, sing a new church into being, one in faith and love and praise.